What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Builder video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Pride offer. Is it worth it? Which one should you buy? All that good stuff. So before we begin, hit that like and subscribe button. You can join us on Facebook at SimCity Build It Missy NYT. There's a lot of information on our Facebook page. You can also join us on our Discord. The link will be down below in the description box. And if you guys like these buildings, hate these buildings, sick of seeing the old buildings, uh, whatever input that you have on the game, put it in the comments section. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. Now, these offers are going to be different for you guys than me, possibly, because they kind of go based on level, uh, geography, you know, what country you're in. Uh, there's a number of just random offers that they give people. So I'm gonna show you guys the one that I got. If you got the same one, I'll let you know if it's a good deal, bad deal, whatever. Okay, so the very first one here, On, switch over. There we go. So the very first one is going to be the uh, Pride Parade. Now, just because it says Pride Parade does not mean it actually has a parade on the street. It has to show a little purple flag that says Create City Events. For example, the middle one here for the Pride Festival, that one actually does do a parade on the street. Both of these buildings are three by three buildings. Uh, the Pride Parade has a pop boost of, of 35% and an area boost of 12 by 12. Now, they are in the parks category, so there are no epic points attached to these. Personally, uh, the first one I thought was going to look better than it does. I, I, when I first saw it, I thought it was cute. I bought it. This was a few years ago. And, you know, I've just never really used it anywhere. It's not, it just doesn't look that good. You know, it really doesn't. Right now, I kind of have it placed here with the water behind the rainbow, which doesn't look too bad. But in general, it just doesn't look that good. Okay, uh, this building here, though. This one, I actually... I actually like this one. This one's not too bad. So, <clears throat> it does have the, the parade, as you can see here. So, you're going to want to put it on a, a road with... A longer road so you can actually see the parade uh, and it, it does blend well you know because it's got the the grass and stuff so it it does blend well you know I give them that that one actually looks okay at least if you have it facing you if it's sideways or, or reversed it looks terrible um, now let's talk about if it's actually worth it to purchase these these other offers So, first off, one of each dozer is a spit to the face, I think. I mean, I think it's like, why even bother at that point, you know? Uh, I gr granted, it is only $2.99, but they're basically asking, you know, three bucks for a building, because they're not really offering you much else there. I mean, three gold keys and, and one of each dozer is not exactly an offer. You do get 100 pink plumbob points, but whoop -de whoop did he do okay? Now... We have the Pride Festival for a dollar more. Um, and again, offering all the same crap, you know, one of each dozer. So if you were to buy both of these versus buying the $12.99, what do you get additionally that you don't get over here? Well, you're spending an extra $7. So for the seven that you're, or $6. So for the seven that you're spending here, you get two of each dozer eight gold keys, and both buildings, and then 200 pink plumbob points. If you spend an additional six bucks, you get five of each dozer, so an additional three of each dozer, which comes out to be 216 Sims cash if you were to buy it in Sims cash. Then you get five of each storage, which comes out to be 270 uh, in Sims cash totaling you at 486 Sims Cash if you were to purchase those rares with Sims Cash, okay? Then you get the additional 150 Sims Cash added onto that, so you're getting 636 Sims Cash worth of product for $6 more. So it's actually not a bad deal in that regard. 
if you were gonna spend the Sims cash anyway. However, however, if you don't need the dozer and you are wanting the storage, you could buy these here, right? And then, let's see, you've got, I just want to double check something here. So if you buy both of these, that you will, you will have spent $7, okay? Now, saying that you don't care for the, the dozer, you mainly care for the storage. You get the five of each storage, which comes out to be 270, right? Plus you get the 150 cash. So even if you don't want the dozer, you're still better off getting the pride bundle than you are buying Sims cash by itself to buy doze or to buy storage because uh, it comes out to 270 for just the storage alone. And if you look here, if you were spending six dollars, you would be buying the the 4.99 bundle, and you would you would not get that many for for 250. Okay, so eighteen dollars each times 15. That's 270. So you're actually getting the 150 cash uh, for free, along with the dozer, if you were to just do the purchase instead of like if you were just purchase the buildings and then do a five dollar sims cash purchase you would be losing that 150 additional cash and the dozer so you're still better off buying the pride bundle than you would be to buy the the, the sims cash bundle which is rare usually they don't do it that way usually it's a complete ripoff to buy the offer and you're better off just buying sims cash to get what you want now you can you know trade the dozer for storage so there's that, but in general, you're still going to be better off going with the $12.99 bundle if that's what you want to do. I would not buy the, the smaller bundles. They're not worth it. I mean, spend the extra six bucks and, and get the, get, you know, the stuff that you need. Now, if you don't need storage or dozer, then why would you buy it? You know, that would just be crazy. You might as well just get the building that you want and then call it a day. These buildings, in my opinion, are not that great. Uh, if, I, if you're just going for the buildings and you actually like them, then of course, you know, I, I don't have to tell you to buy something you like, but, uh, you know, I, I'm just so sick of seeing the same buildings year after year after year. It would be nice if they would give us something new for a change. You know, outside of the mayor's pass and the design pass and, and things like that, because, you know, having to wait two, three months for a new set of buildings and then have 99% of them be trash, it just sucks. So, you guys, keep blowing up their Facebook, keep blowing up their Twitter comments. I'm seeing so many people speaking out about how they feel about the game, and I would say 99% of the comments that they're getting right now are negative. You know, and that's that's good. You know, if you, if, if you guys are that unhappy, if we're all that unhappy, then we should speak out and they should change it. But then I see a lot of people, you know, in the comments saying, well, I'm sick of, you know, A, B, C, and D, but I never said anything because I just assumed that they would have fixed it by now or they would have this by now. Don't do that. Okay, don't just assume that because if 9,000 other people do the same damn thing, and they only have a very small handful of people complaining, nothing gets changed. So even though you're only one person, if everybody feels that way, nothing's going to get done. Okay? So speak out. Let them know, you know, what you think about the game, what you think about every, every aspect, what, what you would like to see, all that good stuff. All right, you guys. Good luck this week in the contest of mayors. Your offer may be different than, like I said, than the one that I have here. So you'll have to calculate it and see if it's worth it to you. But if you got the one that I got uh, and you're looking at it for the, for the purpose of the rares, then yes, it is going to be uh, beneficial for you. All right, you guys, good luck.